Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with the grammar, chapter number two, subject and predicate. Chapter number two, subject and predicate. The what is subject? We are going to study in detail over here. The part of the sentence that tells about us about who or what the sentence is saying is called as a subject. The part of sentence that is telling something more about who or what the sentence is trying to tell us about is called the subject. The part of the sentence that tells us more about the subject is called as a predicate. For example, you can say, Meena wants a pink dress from her father. So ask the question, who wants a pink dress from her father? You get the answer, Meena. Meena is your subject. Wants a pink dress from a father is your predicate. I'll take some more examples. The sheep ran in the meadow. Who ran in the meadow? The sheep. The sheep is your subject. Ran in the meadow is your predicate. The shop was closed yesterday. What was closed yesterday? The shop. The shop is your subject. Was closed is your predicate. So this is your subject and the predicate. Now we are going to study about the compound subjects. What are compound subjects? When the subject is made up of two or more simple subjects, it is called as a compound subject. When the subject is made up of two or more simple words or simple subjects, it is joined by and or and it is called as a compound subjects. All the subjects have the same verb. For example, just here, Tara or Zara went to the mall. Who went to the mall? Tara or Zara. Went is your verb. Tara or Zara is your subject. Went to the mall is your predicate. The dog and the cat fight with each other every day. Who fight with each other every day? The dog and the cat. The dog and the cat is your subject. Fight is your verb. Fight with each other every day is your predicate. The poetry of Mary Angelo and the novels of Khalid Hoshimi inspired me to write. What inspired me to write? The poetry of Mary Angelo and the novels of Khalid Hoshimi. Inspired is your verb. Inspired me to write is your predicate. The highlighted phrases are simple subjects that are joined by the conjunctions such as and or. Now they are joined with and or all or these are your conjunctions joining the two subjects. Now we are going to study about the compound predicate. When the predicate is made up of two or more simple predicates it is called as compound predicate all the verbs share the same subject again over the predicate is made of two or more simple predicates and it is called as a compound predicate now see this examples she danced and leaped with joy when her father got her a bicycle who danced and leaped so she, she is a subject, danced and leaped with joy when her father got her a bicycle. The people loved the vendor's pav bhaji and crowded around his stall. Who loved the vendor's pav bhaji and crowded around the stall? The people, the people is a subject, loved the vendor's pav bhaji and crowded around his wall. He visited his cousin and his friend. He is your subject. Visited his friend or cousin and cousin is your predicate by joining and. And is your or and or or is your conjunction joining those two predicates. The highlighted phrases are simple predicates that are joined by conjunction and or. Now, if I give you some uh, sentences that complete the sentences with suitable subjects, 
dash love chocolate. So how will you write that? Dash love chocolates. If I tell you, you have to fill in with suitable subjects. That is compound suitable subjects. So you can write Suresh and Ramesh love chocolates. That is compound subjects you have to fill in. Okay. Plow the field. Dash plow the field. Varun and Arun plow the field. Dash fill the basket with apples. Mary and Jane fill the basket with apples. If I give you complete the sentences with suitable compound predicates. First one if I give the fairy. Only the fairy I have given. Now you have to complete the sentence with compound predicates. The fairy swung her magic wand and cured the little baby. King Ashoka's bravery. If I give you that much, you have to complete with a compound predicate. You can write, come second to none and is remembered till date. Our team. Our team won the football match and broke many records. So if this way I give you some homework, you have to solve that and write in your notebook. Thank you. As well as... You have to write these definitions with examples in your notebook.